today, we've got some exciting news. Sparky 7.2 Orion Belt has just been released, packed with a bunch of cool updates and improvements. So let's take a closer look at what this new version has to offer. Sparky 7.2 is an updated point release of Sparky 7 Orion Belt from their stable line. For those unfamiliar, it's based on Debian 12 Bookworm, ensuring compatibility while bringing in fresh features and enhancements. This update includes all the latest package updates from both Debian and Sparky stable repositories as of December 5, 2023. One of the key highlights is the updated kernel. For PC users, it's now running on version 6.1, and they've even got options like 6.6 .6 and 5.15 in the Sparky repositories. ARM users are also covered with the 6.1 kernel. These updates aren't just limited to the kernel. They've rolled out newer versions of LibreOffice, Calamari's, Firefox, Thunderbird, VLC, and Exale, ensuring you're equipped with the latest features and security patches. Let's talk about desktop environments. Sparky 7.2 offers a variety of choices catering to different preferences. Whether you prefer the slick look of KDE Plasma, the lightweight LXQ, the classic Mate, the familiar XFCE, or the minimalistic open box, there's an option for everyone. This flexibility allows users to pick what suits their workflow and style best. Now here's the cherry on top if you're already using Sparky 7, you don't need to reinstall your entire OS. Yep, that's right. All you need to do is keep your system updated and you'll seamlessly transition to Sparky 7.2 without any hassle. It's a smooth upgrade process without the headache of starting from scratch. In conclusion, Sparky 7.2 Orion Belt is a solid update bringing in the latest software versions, improved kernels, multiple desktop environments, and extensive platform support. If you're already on Sparky 7, upgrading to 7.2 is a no-brainer. For new users looking for a Debian-based distro with a range of options and up-to-date software, Sparky 7.2 is definitely worth checking out. And that's a wrap for today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.